Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing. We're at the Minnetonka Tour Van today, and we've got a fun driver head-to-head -head comparison, testing the new G425 LST from Ping against the previous generation G410 LST. Uh, another one that was pretty highly demanded by our viewers. Wanted to get this one together, kind of test out, of course, how they look, but also how the performance differs as well. And uh, really see if, you know, that spin is lowered a little bit in the G425 LST uh, from the G410 LST. So Thomas, you've got both in your hand right now. Yep. Um, wanted to get your first impression on both models. You've done testing with both before, so maybe you can just give us a sneak peek of what we'll maybe see in the testing and then um, of what they look like in your hands right now. Yeah, so you mentioned a couple hundred RPMs. Um, I do expect that the G425 may just spin just a little bit less than the G410 LS LST. I know they're pushing MOI with, with, their, with their drivers, but they're for sure the LST model, they want to have that as an option for a player to reduce mm -hmm. that spin rate down a little bit there too. So, so the G410 LST and the G425 LST models, they're not gonna fit the majority of the golfers. It's gonna fit those higher swing speed players, players that need to really help to reduce that spin rate mm -hmm. down. And it's probably gonna be a little bit more fade bias compared to your, your max heads and your SFT models. Right. Yeah, you're going to see probably more uh, ball flight to the right. Uh, also going to see lower, uh, more penetrating ball flight. That height number, I know we've done some testing with like the G425 Max and G410 Plus and some of the uh, more forgiving club heads. And I know your height has kind of gotten close to like a 130, 140 plus in terms of feet in the air. I would imagine we'll see it quite lower with these two heads. So, uh, but I'm excited to watch this test here because I think, again, this is one that our viewers have talked about a lot to see those two compared against one another. And I know G410 LST was a really popular one in second swing fittings. So uh, I'm excited for that one. But before that, um, we'll remind golfers uh, watching this to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of comparisons, reviews on our channel. Um, I know we get some a lot of feedback from you guys. We love interacting in the comments as well. So um, please continue to give some feedback to us. We really appreciate you guys joining our channel and um, following us along. So uh, Thomas, you want to hit some golf shots? Let's hit some golf shots. That is high in the air, Thomas. It was. Spin rate was down though, mm -hmm. considering how high that was. Oh my god. Actually. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, what was that uh, reaction there, Thomas? Because that seemed like a decent shot to me. Uh, yeah, I left that face about five degrees kind of open there, but the gear effect on the driver definitely helped me out. But you'll notice the spin rate was still kind of low, Very considering low. that was a miss. That definitely yeah. kind of surprised me there too. So yeah. first two swings just left the face a little bit open <laughs> on those, but spin rate still stayed down. Mm -hmm. That was a better swing. There's that draw you like to hit. It's kind of interesting those first three shots. They actually went pretty similar distances, considering how how maybe differently you different struck them. I delivered that club face at impact. If you bring out that dispersion real quick, you can kind of see that straight line from, from left to right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kinda, There's your distance. Yeah. Now, the wide dispersion, that's human error. Right. But notice how on the miss hits, spin rate stayed down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's smoked. That split the uprights. All right. Well, Thomas, that was... Five so far with the G410 LST. I'll kind of bring those numbers up here. But um, first, just let's just go back over what you know, like the specs of the two drivers we're playing in terms of you know loft and shaft things like that. Yep. So LST heads both nine degrees of loft, both with the Ping Tour 65 golf shaft, both the that 45 45 and a quarter inch length mm -hmm. with, with with the clubs there. Um, both with the, the weights in the back in the, in the middle, so I'm gonna make any adjustments there. Probably not the best five shots that I've put together, um, but once again, you will notice that spin rate re staying down, mm -hmm. lower spinning model there. Right, so. yeah, the, the spin, I think, you know, it stayed down, especially I think, what was it, the second shot here um, is the one that we really took note of because I think you, you finished it and you kind of did the <laughs> helicopter finish and you're, you know, I expected that to go off onto the road over there on the, on the screen, but you actually kept it 
relatively straight, I think, compared to maybe what you thought would happen. Yep. And the spin was actually lowest of the five shots. There's the, the gear effect that you mentioned. I would guarantee that one was probably on the toe of the club. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so G410 LST, still relatively forgiving. I think it's known for forgiveness even in their lower spinning models. Mm -hmm. So even on the misses with the G410 LST, notice the spin rate stayed down. Well, look, we're about 2100 mm -hmm. on average on those five shots. But we've got this new G425 LST model. It should spin a little bit less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the uh, that's what you know. Ping's claiming, and they're telling us it's going to spin a little bit less um, because of the advances they made and in, um, in the club head. So I'm eager to see how it performs, and I'm also going to get your kind of perspective on how it looks as well, because they have made some tweaks to like the crown and things yep. like that for uh, how it looks at you know the appearance at a dress. So they've also narrowed their uh, their their mm -hmm. weight shifting around the back of the club here too, so the center of gra gravity movements. It's a little bit closer together. So yep. the G425, the, the back of the club, it's not as far wide. And they've mm -hmm. said that if they keep the weight in the back, more, it's going to be a little more forgiving as opposed yep. to moving that weight closer to the front of the club that reduces the forgiveness on the drive. Right, yep, yep. So you can see, I mean, the weight track here, kind of move it just a little bit to each side. Um, you can see on the G410 Plus that the weight track kind of expands to a wider area. And by keeping it back here, you might not get as much in terms of your right to left as you were if you were able to move this weight farther. But the the weight staying back there does provide the more forgiveness that you're mentioning. So, um, but let's get into G425 LST here and see how it compares. Well, yeah. So I'm hoping for a little bit more forgiveness. As I mentioned, those five shots that I hit weren't my per perfect swings. We noticed I had a couple left and right. We noticed four of the five shots were a little bit to the right, and that's just showing the fade bias a little mm. bit with the LST model. Yeah, let's see if G425 LST does have that more forgiveness. Let's do it. Yeah, that's straight. That should be pretty good. Mmm. That's a tasty tee shot there, Thomas. Farthest one of the day. Didn't quite catch that one. But if we're not quite there catching you go. it, that was pretty good. There's the, uh, if you're going to you know, miss hit and to stay at that low 2000s, that's what you're looking for. Uh, you'll notice that shot in my ball speed dropped by about three or four miles an hour compared mm -hmm. to the shot before. But yeah, that spin rate stayed down, which is important. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's pretty tasty as well. That is the best tee shot of the day, I think, uh, undoubtedly. That is 1,800 spin. You near, you're, you're getting close to 300 carry there, Thomas. Very nice. All right. Those five swings did feel a little bit smoother than the first mm -hmm. kind of five swings. So we'll uh, bring these circles up here as well. Um, now, you hit both drivers. Wanted to get what you thought about the appearance at a dress between both of them because there has been a little bit of a change, I think, in what they've done to the appearance and in terms of what the crown looks like. Yeah, there's, there's not as much going on. Looking at the G425, I like how it's cleaner on top, especially once you get past the, the turbulators on, on the top front part of the crown pushing back. It just looks like a little bit cleaner. So okay. with the G410 Plus, you got these kind of these two, two lines that were pretty evident. With the uh, G425, it's not quite as evident. There's still okay. a little bit going on, but it's, yeah, there's not as much kind of going on. I will say that the, the lines up front do seem a little bit bolder, though. Okay. So they feel like they're just maybe just raised maybe a little bit, little bit higher. Okay. So I know aerodynamics is kind of the, the big piece with these here still. Yeah. Definitely feel like they're just raised just a little bit more. But, yeah, good looking. Really like the... The, the clean matte finish. And I okay. kind of like just the, the black and the white going on. You know, they got rid of that, that red color off mm -hmm. the, the bottom of the club. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, th I think they've hit the uh, aesthetics out of the park for, I mean, I think a while. I've been a fan of the Turbulators, um, and that's still why I, you know, I have a G30, and uh, I love that matte look combined with the Turbulators there. Uh, but now we can kind of look at these numbers a little bit more here. 
Um, and I think, first of all, you know, what Ping has said about the spin, you know, we saw that here. You know, you can see uh, 1959 on, on average spin to 2133. So about 200 RPM difference, right? That's kind of what I think maybe you mentioned that number actually prior to testing. So um, good to see that. Uh, what else do you notice here, Thomas? I think spin consistency too. So if you look at the plus or minus number, plus or minus 199, I think it was just a little bit more with the G410. It was, mm -hmm. so plus or minus 351. So it was spinning less, but it was also consistently spinning less yeah. as well. So that's kind of interesting there. I'm curious to see what my club speed with both drivers is. So kind of interesting. So with the G410 LST, now we've done a lot of testing this morning. Maybe my yeah. swing started to slow down a little For bit. Sure. Um, but it was faster than the G425 LST, but you'll notice the ball speed. Ball speed was a little bit higher. So that's kind of interesting. So the efficiency was just a little, little bit higher. Launch slightly lower. Um, as I mentioned, spin rate was a little bit lower, but you will notice it was going further. It was flying just a little bit lower overall in mm -hmm. height, going a little, little bit further. Now, yes, I did have a little bit more of a draw going on yeah. with the G425 than I did with the G410 LST, but it just seemed easier to hit straighter. And that's what yeah. kind of the, the big takeaway was. I think by having the weight more centered and not kind of moving stuff around there too. That's just gonna help with regards to forgiveness. Yes, there's gonna be extremes where someone's gonna wanna have that weight way out on the toe weight of, and the heel to help with their, their draw or fade bias a little bit. But at the end of the day, most golfers don't need to move that weight around too much. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they just moved it closer. Like, yeah, you know? well I think, so they've, they've made in the G425 that back uh, sli adjustable weight is slightly heavier in both uh, models actually, like G425 Max. Uh, and the LST, so that's what, you know one way that they've kind of moved a little bit more weight behind the club face there. So, uh, but yeah, I think you know this is the this is sort of what you want, right? I mean, this, this we should also mention G410 LST, good performer. I mean, I know you had a couple miss hits there that you were very impressed by as well yep. out here. I mean, I, I know a couple of these. I think one of them was, I think yeah, this one that was at uh, the 1600 R, uh, RPM of spin, the one that you had the, kind of the one-handed finish there. Um, but I mean, it's still out there. 316 yards, maybe not as straight, just because you had that face open, but again, I mean, the G410 on LST is awesome. It set a high bar, and I think the G425 has actually exceeded it. Yeah, it depends on budget a little bit. You may be able to get the G410 LST at a little bit reduced price. Yep. At second swing on our used clubs, we've got a lot of clubs that are still in exceptionally good shape. So mm -hmm. you'll be able to maybe save a little bit of money if you don't feel like you see that bigger difference. Usually I, I notice, one year, two years, not going to be a major difference, but if you're playing a driver that's maybe five, ten years old, yeah. then it's maybe time to upgrade. Yes, yes, and the best way to do that, trade in that driver at second swing, and then upgrade to either one of these models. Uh, you know, they're going to have, like you said, there's going to be a bunch of G410 LSTs used, available, or of course, new G425 LST, where you can get fit uh, through a tour van fitting with uh, someone like Thomas at one of our stores, or you can contact our online fitting and support team uh, over the phone, maybe do a video chat as well, and they can analyze a video of your swing, and then from there discuss how the G425 or G410 LST can best fit you. So, um, Thomas, this was a great test. I think the ultimate result, G425, a little bit lower spin, a little bit more controlled. G410 LST is still awesome, though. Yeah, if you love ping drivers, and if you're looking to get just 200 RPMs less than the G410 LST model, G425 is definitely a winner. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys all for watching, uh, and we hope the G425 LST, if you decide to put it in your bag, uh, it should be a good one for you uh, in 2021 and beyond.